I, I, I personally disregard clout because uh, it just, for me, it's a vanity thing. If you've got a high clout score, then brilliant. You've got a high clout score. Well done. Pat on the back. Makes you look awesome. Um, the important thing is the amount of engagement and traffic that you generate from the different platforms that you use. So, you know, it's the same with SEO Moz in search. They've got their domain authority score, which gives you a score out of 100 as to how powerful your domain is. Um, Majestic SEO have got the same kind of thing. Clout give you that score. Follower Wonk gives you a social authority score, and I love Follower Wonk. But at the end of the day, it's all just a score out of 100 based on some numbers that they've plucked out of their various algorithms from the, the scraping and crawling that they do. The important thing is, are the people you're tweeting to interested in what you say? And is it driving traffic to your site? And if it is driving traffic, is it making you money? So, you know, forget all of those different metrics. Have a look at your, your bottom line, your Google Analytics or your Clicky or whatever it is that you use. Look where your traffic's coming from. And that's the important thing. Yeah, that, that is one thing that I noticed. You know, I went to, I've been to blog pause two years in a row. And, and bloggers do have a very different outlook on life. You know, I think it's because some make money out of it. The majority are just blogging because they find it interesting. I know, you know, author marketing is a little bit different, but um, a lot of authors do start as bloggers as well, don't they? But I, I guess if you start out as a blogger, then it kind of, it is a social thing, isn't it? And it's all about trying to make yourself look as good as you possibly can. I think that's where all this fluff comes from and, uh, uh, and, I was going to say rubbish. That's probably a little bit unfair, but you know what I mean. You know, there's so much around blogging, and you have to you have to really try and stand out and be like me, me, me. You know, PR of yourself and your clout score or whatever score it is. That's just an extension of that. The important thing is, and you know, you go to blog polls, and a lot of people, or the majority of people, they're not looking at their analytics. They're looking at their clout scores. Look at the real numbers. Look at what's coming in. Don't don't worry about the other stuff. Definitely. Alexa rank, that's that's another one that's a bit kind of in the past, but Alexa, I still get a lot of people mention Alexa. Rubbish. Load of rubbish. Yeah, they it's the Alexa toolbar, and I think they they estimate it probably not just using the user data, but using a load of other stuff as well, but it is just estimates. So you look at your own site on there, and you look at a competitor, and it could be two completely different numbers that are either completely right or more likely completely wrong. And it's the same with all of the estimation platforms um, because you can never work out exactly what a click-through rate on a, a Google results page is going to be or how much social traffic is going in. You know, it's impossible to, to work out unless you've actually got access to the stats. So unfortunately, when it comes to competitors, you just finger in the air and, and hope you get it right. not been updated in six months and they, they don't update it very often again it's just a little part of the algorithm that that influences how a site ranks so you know again a page rank seven site might be ranking consistently lower than a page rank three site you just you don't know um you can find me on twitter it's at matt beswick or mattbeswick.co.uk or hiddenpixel.com which is going to be relaunched in the next two days maybe we'll see. Hopefully.